So this one is called The future of rap is in trouble. Let's see. Is it going to be a vlog or no? He's going to talk. Gonna talk. Rage underground. Pretty much everything underground. If looks get killed by destroying lonely recently dropped, um, I think last week. And I'm not gonna lie, it was 26 songs on that album. I only like three. At first it was five, but now it's three. And now I'm I dead ass. I'm forgetting songs. Yeah, I, to be honest, it's not even in my rotation really. I'm listening to that passenger song and maybe a couple others. That just because it's in my library and I usually listen to the most recent songs, but I don't know if Looks Could Kill just didn't hit like it was supposed to. It, it didn't have too much replayability or like memorability off that album because they all sound the fucking same. Yeah. I am. He does have that loan that is has like the with a swag like the he, he just gotta switch up the flows tired of all of his music sounding the same and i honestly truly think that rap as a whole the majority is falling i don't know why but i don't yes it's it's getting to the point where on a, on the blog page on instagram we would have so much content to post like 10 times a day and it'd be fun. But now it's like we're scraping together like four posts per day. Maybe even some days we don't even have, we, we only got like one. And it's like, we're trying to just put something out. We're not forcing it too hard. Like we don't like to do that, but there's just not much going on. I think because, uh, I don't know, beef is corny at this point. It's like, it's almost just clout chasing, so you can't really be controversial. The the controversial thing to do nowadays is to wear to to do a, pull a little wop and like transition into a woman. And it's like nobody trying to see that, bro. So now you just I mean, I guess this is a good thing. Like you just have to put out good music. It's it's not about the Instagram antics. And I don't know if there's too much good music that's coming out lately. We need Sofago to come through with a project and like spread open the game's cheeks. Like rap right now. Or when I do like it, it's old shit. It's never no new shit because all this new underground plug in beat shit is so boring. Summer's last album was fucking garbage. Sofago's still up next. <laughs> Whoa. I can't, I can't deny it. I can't deny it. Even though I really like that Ye song, Destroy Lonely fucking sucks. I'm sorry to say it to you. His all his shit sound the fucking same. I don't think he sucks. I just think that project was a, a miss for the expectations. All the big stars like Kanye, Kendrick, Cole, Drake, they're getting older. They're not going to be able to be making these hits anymore like they used to. And it's like we're leaving rap in the hands of cardi cardi's cool but he literally and he just doesn't drop music so there's not much going on truly has no substance he doesn't need to have substance you can say whatever you want i love that shit because rap has never always been about substance even in the beginning stages niggas were just hitting and hopping they just having fun and then this nigga rock kim came out and was like yo we getting shot in the streets <laughs> and then they was like yo fuck the police but snoop was over here on the other side saying like yo we just having fun we chilling this shit it don't gotta be about substance but there was always at least one nigga doing something different tupac biggie rock him nah there's always like I think that was Yeet, at least for the underground. And again, we, I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again. Just, he took the game by storm. And now that he's hitting mainstream, he's not going to be as active as he once was posting the Instagram stories of like funny words. Like he's, he's just in the studio making music. He's got to be mysterious because that's just, that's just the way. Like a nigga at the top that really showed niggas like what you can really do and with music, with rap. What? Is this like an OnlyFans sponsor? And these niggas are gonna leave one day. And when they do, who's gonna carry that blueprint? Save the World made a video about how the rap industry is bad, not because your uncle said so, but the rap industry is now what the pop industry was in the early 2000s. It's a make facts. Rap is pop, so 
we were bound to it's like the it's like the the real estate market right or just the stock market like it, it hit its bubble and then now it's popping and there's everybody's left and there's and there's nothing to show for it because it got so high in 2021 when the underground the labels were all pushing all these newer artists and they were low-key ass compared to the other generations matrix level rabbit hole and you really have no idea how effed up your brain is because of it big labels need to make you feel like you're a part of some sort of authentic culturally shifting movement that's gonna like change history so they had to go back to the entire 90s and 2000s period of alternative rock that really is honestly so freaking sick and is to this day unmatched by any other period in music in my opinion it is so influential on aesthetics personalities lifestyles in music but how are the rap overlords over at interscope records gotta use this to their advantage enter playboy cardi die lid and then eventually whole lot of red drops and then everybody's emo and goth and edgy and weird and blah 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 now as much as people like to praise whole lot of red for changing music and shifting the genre and oh my god this is so amazing it's kind of sucking the movement dry for its aesthetic while not really contributing much to the community at all like i just want to put this out there when jason destroy lonely try rock music it's literally just them saying the same shit they would with the same flow of a rap song with a guitar in the background and it's not good however hundreds of meat eaters in the comments will praise these guys for breaking barriers and thinking outside the box when really they are doing the bear movement i want to i, like I want to hear this dude's opinion bro i'm not trying to watch it i've already watched that video gonna be able to carry the torch and if he does and then he passes that on to opium and then all the underground niggas come up with him then that's bad i think that's what i said in my last documentary i was like the rise of opium but low-key because everybody trying to be opium with the sound and the aesthetics it's getting homogenous it's almost like what ai is gonna do everybody's doing the same sound so music and that's the only thing people are accustomed to listening to so Music's just gonna end up sucking. Like, I don't even know, bro. It's just not good right now. We're not in a good state. I totally agree with this dude. Rap as a whole is gonna fall. And besides the weird, like, Earl Sweatshirt, Danny Brown, JPEG Mafia type niggas, he's the only one actually, like, switching things up with rap. Even if it's not much, he's still switching it up. In the early 2000s, all rap was super masculine, braggadocious. I got money, I got bitches, I got cars. And then Kanye came out and was like, yo, I'm working at Gap. Yo, I got pink polos. Yo, I'm trying to make it one day. And I'm trying to figure out who's going to be like the next Drake, Kanye, J. Cole, Travis Scott. Like, is Yeet going to take over? Because I know Uzi and Cardi got that on lock right now. I don't know if they're going to be the same size as Kanye and Drake or whatever. They are definitely one of the or two of the most influential rappers, but I don't know if we really have somebody who's going to get to the same level as Travis Scott and doing McDonald's and Nike collabs all like that. Like they were trying to do that with Sofago, but they kind of dropped the ball. It still could very well happen, especially with this comeback that he's making. But Yeet is really the only person that's doing that. But I, I don't know, like, will it reach that point that it's hard to really tell. And he changed the trajectory of rap. He changed the game. And now it's a bunch of little niggas. Influence. But that's okay now. I think Trippy Red low key falling off too. Now that I saw his picture like that. A love letter to you five snippet just ain't good, man. Because very early on, Kanye switched up his thing. He switched up his, his, his aesthetic, his flow multiple times basically what i'm trying to say is that kanye's influence created more variety than cardi when somebody's inspired by cardi they make songs that sound exactly like cardi when somebody's inspired by kanye he switches up so much so you will have a juice and you have a uzi you have a kid cuddy you have a travis scott it, it keeps switching up you'll hear all these different styles the thing is while the 2021 underground was going up everybody thought like this is the new thing like they're gonna be bigger than uzi and cardi and blah 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 and juice world and x like they're they're the same level bro look what happened they were all trash a lot of them aren't even 
I don't even know if they're rappers. They probably got dropped by the label or very close to it. The labels are just not, they don't even want to drop another project because they're like, we're just going to lose money on this. So they're not giving a budget. Just be like, drop it on streaming platforms and do what you can do. And now it's TikTok too. But TikTok does not build a fan base whatsoever. Like you get one popping song and then you fall off from there because there's no actual fan base. By one nigga. His entire life is music. We visibly see him change and grow and fall as a person throughout all of his albums. But with Cardi, he's always been that nigga. He's always been doing this shit. He's always had money. He's always had girls. He's always had cars. And he's never switching that shit up, which is the problem, bro. He don't even talk about his kid and his music. <laughs> and now it has been almost three years since Whole Lotta Red. And now we're seeing. I also just think that a lot of these newer rappers are into fashion. So the music isn't even the forefront. It's really just like we're listening to these rappers because they look cool. And so that kind of detracts from the music and we don't care as much. We just we just like their personas. So we think it's cool because it's like a charismatic person like people who are good at public speaking you like them you don't even care what they're saying necessarily it just sounds good you know like as in you just feel good when you're talking to them like a hot chick you go up to her it don't even matter what she say you're just like I, I, i'm just I'm, a, I'm with a bad bitch right now i'm trying to oh. the effects of cardi's influence and in realizing that he hasn't really done much because all of these little niggas so I think it's I think it's a fact now that we need Cardi to drop or Uzi or Travis or something to drop so that we get some new inspiration for the young rappers to come in and make a new sound. They all do the same shit and it's boring to literally, me. Now. Literally, literally. I hate it now. And this is all summer's fault. My favorite artist in the whole plug and be scene. But what happened? I don't know. You tell me. He got to answer that question. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the fuck happened to that nigga. He dropped that 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 black and white album. What's it? Relying on Roxy? Whatever that shit was called. And that shit was fucking garbage. He wasn't doing that plug shit that he... Like, he was, but it... The album was cool. The production quality is there. I think the main problem is just that Summers don't really be talking about anything like he used to, which gets boring very fast. I mean, he made it in like three days. <laughs> Yo. I just think it has to do with... with yeah, that could be true. I'm trying to figure out like why it's not hitting. I, I just feel like a lot of these SoundCloud rappers made the same song over and over. And so it gets dry. That's why I think a lot of the newer artists should just hit drop singles until you have developed enough where you have a, a certified theme a, or a solidified theme to drop a project around. So you actually have some substance, which correlates with what this dude said, as opposed to just dropping a compilation of songs that you liked in this time period that you're working on the album. And then he drops the 2023 album Ghost. And that shit was all rage. And that shit was fucking garbage. And I hated. I don't know if it was rage. It was like a little bit of glow, like the new age glow. And there was some, was there plug and be on that? I don't think so. It just wasn't a good project. I don't even remember it, bro. At all. I think there's like one song that I like on there. It's called uh, Never Losing. That's on my playlist. I liked how he was trying to switch up the flows a little bit, but wasn't too pretty. That shit. And now it's been so long since he's done some plug and B shit. So long. It's only been a year, but it's been so long. But see, he moved on from plug and B because it just, it, it wasn't like transitioning to the, the mainstream. And Uzi did it on Watch This, the, the plug and B remix. I don't even know if it's considered plug and B, but that's what it's called. And that technically didn't even like i know it did it hit billboard i'm not entirely sure but like it's not like that influenced more people to listen to plug and b and like that whole wave to start it's just that's why i was saying plug and b won't go mainstream i like it i'm not hating when autumn was telling me i was it's just like a lot of people casual listeners think it's offbeat that like niggas are saying yo plug and b died and it's only because summers and so many other niggas in that space like can can and jace are dropping plug in b but it's ass it's too much quantity over i liked autumn's album too i don't even know if that was plugging actually i guess it is because it was like r&b beats and he was singing on it 
but it had plug drums. Yeah, I guess that was pure plug and B. Album is hard. I mean, sorry, Autumn is hard. His last project was fire. Quality, they're dropping way too much. And that's the same way I feel about Cardi and his opium label. If he's going to be at the top, if he's going to be the one that the torch just passed on to by Kanye and Drake and Cole and Kendrick, when they... I think there's also a lot of pressure on Cardi because I think he knows and everybody knows that Cardi is in control of like the next sound for the underground rappers to go off of that he needs to drop something like whole lot of red that gets heavily scrutinized even if it gets hated on but is way different so that he can leave his mark for people to then start uh getting inspired by you know what i'm saying like if he were to drop just a mainstream album or something that is similar to what he dropped before it just his his throne of the underground king even though he's not underground but you get what i'm saying will be lost a little bit leave he has a label full of niggas that sound exactly like him what the fuck does that say about rap they're dropping too much of the same shit and it's gonna get boring niggas are gonna get tired their fans are tiktok kids their attention spans are the same as a fucking goldfish and eventually they're gonna hear one more fucking and they're gonna get bored of it and then the whole drama is gonna fall apart just like plug and b's doing right now so if everyone's becoming aware that music is kind of trash right now does that mean that opium like the whole branding is dying a little bit too because it's getting old because i actually don't I don't think Ken Carson is at his peak right now with like clout. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like X kind of retracted from his project X that was amazing. And uh, Destroy Lonely, the last project, wasn't as good. And I think a lot of people, there was a lot of mixed opinions about that. So, does that mean people are becoming aware now that Opium might not, like, it's definitely the top underground label, if you ask me, like, because there really aren't that many good artists that are upcoming. But in the next couple of years, they really got to do something. And yeah, that's why I'm trying to become an indie sleaze icon right now. Like, look at my fucking wallpaper. <laughs> I like this dude, though. He killed it. I, I agree with practically everything he said, unfortunately. We went through this, I want to say, in like 2021, maybe like, 20, or maybe 2022. Like, I was I was thinking about quitting YouTube because I was like, there's really nothing that I want to talk about. Like, I don't care. Maybe I should just go to my corporate job and just run the bag up that way. I mean, I still like it, but there's really not much to talk about at all. Like, I don't really care that much. <laughs> 